YouTube, this is your boy Alex, and today is Wednesday, and I got lucky again, so now don't expect me to do three or four videos in one day, um, because um, it's not hot, well it was hot, then it cooled down, and basically today we're going to do something completely different here on YouTube, we're going to do something that I don't normally talk about on my channel, I've done it on my old YouTube channels, I'm going to make two videos on it, and it's going to be called Sex Game, um, Sex Game Sigma Alpha Ways of Making Money. I'll try to come up with a much better title than that, and we're going to talk about how does the Sigma male use his money, not just in a sex dating game, but when he uses money in life, and how does money actually enhance and help somebody and how does money also hurt and cause a lifetime um, consequence of penalty so we're gonna break down the three different ways actually not three but there's actually four ways so we're actually gonna call the title of the video sex game Sigma Alpha men and women the ways money are used now I apologize that that's a long title of a video cuz see if I try to make the video just for men then the women be looking at me like, when I see you, I'm going to get you. And if I make the video for women, then the men be like, oh, no, nah, man, you're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to, make, supposed to help out the brothers, the men. So this video is for both men and women, both sexes, young, young and old, black or white. So that way I'm not biased, I'm not sexist, and I don't play favorites. Because I've tried to do these type of videos in the past, and if you're a content YouTube creator, you will know that people will give you hell just because you try to make a video for one gender so it's for both men and women okay this is talking about money money a lot of y'all got your money a lot of y'all are happy that you got your twelve hundred dollars now a lot of times in life when we get money there's this one question that we ask and you've asked this your whole entire life high school college when you get into your 20s, your 30s, you always hear stories from your parents and your grandparents when you get financially secure, financially stable, what do you do once you've made all the money? And you always hear them say, buy a house, buy a car, pay your bills, save money, only go out and spend money unless you actually have to. And there's a difference between wants versus needs. Needs is like you actually need food and water. I need clothes. I need to trim this beard right here. I need to get a haircut. That's where money becomes important. And money is supposed to be like baking a cake. It's the secret ingredient to building a cake, to making a cake. There's the cake. There's the um, creaming of the cake. There's putting designs, a special little cream on top of the birthday cake. And then there's... Seeing there's the chemical ingredients to make the cake. So before you even get the cake, there's the stuff to make the cake. If that analogy doesn't get your attention, how about a car? No car can 100% function without an engine. I don't care if you get a car, a truck, a motorcycle, a moped, a scooter, a motorbike. 99.99% the car, truck, or motorcycle, or moped is not completed without an engine same thing for a bus same thing for a truck without the engine it doesn't move it doesn't go nowhere well you don't have no money the reality is you're not going to be able to get no house no apartment no car no clothes no food no money i mean no no um clothes no shoes without money so that's the first rule of money that's rule number one Rule number two is when you get money, and this is something that sometimes I clash with other people about. It's a business term. Order to make money, order to, order to make money, you must spend money. You must spend money to make money. Now, sometimes you might get challenged by your father or grandfather or your uncle, and they might say, what does that mean? Now, they know what it means, but a lot of times they think when you're in your 20s or in your 30s, they think you're too young to understand what the business term to 
make money, you got to spend money. They don't think you understand what that term is. And there are some men in their 20s and 30s that do know what it means. Now, I'm going to give you some good ways on how this works. When you go pick up a trade, right? Like, let's say you go to a trade program to learn how to do computers. You spent money to learn how to become a computer programmer. Now that you did that, you can go anywhere in the world and fix people's computers. You become a car mechanic. That is a skill. That is a trade. Now you can go out and fix people's cars, motorcycles, bikes, trucks, minivans. You can fix computers. You can fix cell phones. Those are skills. Those are trades. That's how you spend money and make money. Now, there's a, now, what happens when you spend the money to make money and it goes wrong? A lot of times, some people will try to invest their money and their funds in the stuff that they shouldn't. Like, some people might try to invest their money in real estate or shareholders. You know, you know they might go to the um, New York Star Exchange, and they might try to buy a, a certain amount of shares. Like, you use Coca-Cola or Pepsi for an example. And you might say, I'm 5% owner or 10%. I got 10% shares of Coca-Cola. And if it gets to a certain amount, you might make 2 or 3 cents on the dollar because you earn almost 50% shares of Coca-Cola or Pepsi. One day the market takes a hit. You go down less than 10% of shares. That's what happens when you spend money to make money and it goes wrong. Now, when you do it when it goes correct, it's, it's like rolling the dice. It's like going to Las Vegas and basically taking a huge gamble. If I take $10,000 of my money to gamble in Vegas to make $20 million, it's 50-50. 50-50 means... You can take $10,000 and gamble it to try to win $20 million, and you win the $20 million, or you gamble the $10,000 and you fail to execute to make $20 million. So now I've given you two prime examples on what happens when you try to show someone, I'm going to spend money to make money, and it goes wrong. And in the other scenario, I'm going to show somebody how to make money, how to spend money to make money, and it goes right. Now, let's talk about the two types of people who are good with money. The Sigma male and the Alpha male man. The Sigma female and the Sigma and the Alpha female are the four types of people in the world who are very good at money. Now, let me start with the uh, Sigma male. Now, the Sigma male is the bad boy. He's the player. He's the man that wants to be on his own. He wants to strive for excellence of execution. He wants to be the best of the best. He wants his own house, his own car. He wants to make his own money. And he doesn't want no one telling him what to do. Because his whole entire life, and I'm talking about the bad boy. I'm talking about the player. I'm talking about the Sigma male. He's been told his whole entire life by his parents, his grandparents, Friends, co-workers, when you get your own house, when you get your own apartment, you can do whatever you want. But when you're in my house, my apartment, my rules, you do what I tell you to do. And the Sigma male be like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching high levels of success. And they go, yeah, when you get your own house and your own car, you can celebrate your own success. And the Sigma male actually takes that challenge on. This is what makes the Sigma male a better person. He goes into the world and he says... I'm going to go find four other guys. We're going to sit at the table and we're going to put our money together and try to create our own business. Sometimes a Sigma male might say, why would I want to, but why would I want to pay somebody to cut my grass when I can learn how to cut my own grass? That's the Sigma male way. Why would I uh, go to a gym and pay a personal trainer to make me look like Christopher Evans, Captain America, or, in this case, I'm wearing a Wolverine t-shirt. See? See Wolverine? Why would I pay a personal trainer to look like Wolverine when I can put in the hard work and the time and the effort and let the hard work pay off and look like Wolverine without a personal trainer? 
That's the signal mill. The signal mill finds ways to make money without spending too much money. I mean, the thing is, you're going to spend money and you're going to make money. But the thing is, you don't want to lose money. So that's like another rule that comes with money. And guess what happens? You find out the consequences. Sometimes the Sigma male wins. Sometimes the Sigma male loses. Sometimes the Sigma male kicks ass and takes names. And sometimes the Sigma male gets his ass kicked. I'm talking about in the pursuit of trying to become his own man. And he might go to law school. He might go to doctor school. And it might get too competitive and he might drop out. But he has money. He has skills. He has a trade. Why pay a car mechanic to fix my car, truck, or motorcycle when I can fix my own car, my own truck, my own motorcycle? It's the Sigma male way. Now let's get to the Alpha male because I know a lot of you wanted me to get to the king of the hill. The Alpha is the golden standard of success. The Alpha is the one who is responsible for everything. The alpha is the one who pays for the food, the water, the clothes on your back, pays the bills, um, house mortgage, luxury, um, um, property, luxury tax. The alpha pays for all of that. And the alpha is the breadwinner. He, he, like if this is the Matrix, he would be Neil, the one, the chosen one. He's the chosen one. He's the one who is the man of the hour, the man with the plan. He's the one who executes. And if that doesn't work, he has a plan B a plan C, a plan D. He has like at least six to seven contingency plans. I'm talking about the alpha man. So if one doesn't work, he doesn't keep trying the same one over and over and over and over again. He always come up with a new answer maybe three days later or three weeks later or three months later. And he goes and does it. Now, he may not execute everything 100%, but he does execute. And when he does it, he does it well. Now, I'm not saying the alpha male ain't made no mistakes financially. They, they, you hear stories on the news. Guys get rich and famous. They invest their money in something. The, the business makes a lot of money for about five or ten years. And then all of a sudden, the company takes a hit and goes under. So, it does happen to alpha males that are billionaires, millionaires. It does happen. Small businesses, it happens. Now that I explain that, let's get into the females. Now, let's go with the alpha sigma female same mindset same ability she's a woman who wants to have her own house her own car and her own money she don't want to live in a house or an apartment with other women she want to have her own house and her own apartment now the sigma female might rent with another girl and have a roommate for about five years until she gets a better job makes better money and then finally wants to be on her own. That's the Sigma female. The Sigma female is the girl to go, I don't want to ride no bus or no train forever. I want a car. And the Sigma female will get two jobs if she have to and save up all the money and boom, she got a car. The alpha female, on the other hand, is someone who yearns to be the best of the best. But we'll get to that. The the second quality of a Sigma female is she has the same mindset as her male Sigma counterpart. Some women love to get their hairs and nails done by getting, you know, paying for it. And then some women go, I'll do my own fingernails, my own toenails. I'll do my own hair. I ain't going to pay no one to do it. And if they're good at it, that turns into what? A skill, a trade. Girls get their own hair salon. That is the Sigma female. I'm, I am my own woman. Now, the alpha female is the one who's an equal to the male. The alpha male. They're like an equal. Same thing. If she got her own house, her own car, she is the breadwinner. She is the chosen one. She is the one who kicks ass and takes names. I'm talking about if she has her own house and her own car, she is the alpha female. You know, you can't go over to a, a woman's house and tell a woman in her own house what to do. And a woman cannot tell a man what to do in his own house. See, this is going to lead into a future video about, you know, patriarchy. Because I have an idea how to make that into a video. And this is kind of like an insight to it. But I don't want to talk about two subjects in one video. And then people get confused. And people be like, man, you, you're talking about two subjects. What you talking about, Alexander Odin? So, let's stick on, let's stay on course here.
but stay on topic. As my teacher at LA City College will say, too many subjects at one time, stay on one. Now, basically, the alpha female is like an equal to the male alpha. Now that I explain that, let's talk about the beta male. Because some people are going to say, you didn't even mention the beta male. Well, I'm going to explain the beta male. And this is probably going to lead into the next video where I'm going to talk about what happens when it comes to sex. So, yeah. That's probably going to lead into the next video, shall we? So, that probably might be talking about what happens with that. Now, the beta male, when he gets money, the beta male is what they call irresponsible. And I know something about this when I was in high school. And when I first got into college, no sooner I got some money from a summer job, I would spend it. And my dad would have this serious look on his face like, when you get money, you're supposed to save it. Don't be such in a rush to buy everything because everything comes out. And then when something important comes, you don't have no money to go buy it because you buy everything you see. And it took me like at least, I'm going to say about six or seven years to actually understand that. Like if we took a time machine and we went back in time, I probably would tell a younger version of myself, don't buy that, don't buy this, don't do this, don't, if there was such thing of a time machine. So beta males get money and they just be irresponsible. They spend more than they actually save. So that's the only thing I can say about, about the beta male in this first half of the video. Part two is going to be a little bit more, uh... A little bit more unpredictable, a little bit more edgier, and a little bit more mature. And if you don't want to hear me talk about uh, how money gets used and misused in sex and dating, then you might not want to watch that video because I'm going to break down the math and science on the use and misuse of men and women using money when it comes to sex and dating and how it backfires and blows up in our faces. So these are like videos... That were supposed to be made in the summertime. And you're getting them. You're getting them like a month before it's supposed to be made. So you're getting two videos in one day. So you're, you, you, today's your lucky day. And then tomorrow I probably won't make no video. Unless it's to do sports. And I probably won't do that until it gets like Friday or Saturday. Because at some point I need to take a break. 